heard of Steve Thomas? He's the host of Renovation Nation. He spends time working with homeowners to renovate their existing homes to be more energy efficient. Right. He's also the keynote speaker at the Better Buildings, Better Business Conference. We had the opportunity to sit down with Steve and he had a lot of interesting things to say. He sure did, but what made him the most excited about energy conservation wasn't new product. The most exciting new thing that I'm seeing is the 20-year-olds 20, 20 and 30-year-olds who think differently about their houses and about their lifestyle. Um, you know, the Gen Xers and Gen Yers uh, that I've seen in the course of doing, uh, what do we do, 66 renovation nation hours all over the country, uh, what I'm seeing is that, you know, they want to live smaller, they want to live more efficiently, they want to live greener, they don't have two cars, they have one, they ride their bicycles everywhere, they want to be in the city center so they're connected, and they're really thinking about uh, housing in a much different way than than we did in the 80s and 90s. They, it is the opposite of the McMansions. We'll hear more from Steve throughout today's show, but for now, Megan, what do you say we split up and check out some of these booths? Let's get going. All right. Joining us now is Scott McCumber with Weather Shield, and we're going to learn today about some pretty cool windows here. Scott, first of all, tell us about your company. Well, we're a 55-year-old company out of Medford, Wisconsin. Uh, we're one of the largest manufacturers in the northern Wisconsin area. We have uh, plants in both uh, in Medford plus several other cities around the close area there. Okay, well, you're going to tell us today about Zoe Shield. Uh-huh. Tell us how this is different from other windows out there. Well, I've got a demonstration set up here. We've got a heat lamp here that actually is going to generate heat. We can think of this like, like the furnace in your home generating heat. And I've got a BTU meter here that, if you think of this as being outside, what we want to do is measure how much heat is coming from the inside of your house and escaping to the outside. Okay. Basic rule of thumb is you want to keep heat where it belongs. If it's summer, you want to keep the heat on the outside. If it's winter, you want to keep the heat on the inside. So we're going to just look at the different kinds of glass here. First of all, 1970s technology, insulated glass. Took the place of single glaze. There was two pieces of glass, air in the middle. Uh, and what that did to this, as far as keeping the heat where it belongs, it didn't do a great job. Okay. Still letting a lot of heat through. If you put your hand in front of that, you can still feel the heat through that piece of glass. Yeah, you can. Okay? Right. And then in the 90s, they came out with what was called low E glass. Uh, low emissive glass actually prevents the flow of heat from the inside to the outside or vice versa. Mm -hmm. You see this everywhere. You see this everywhere. It's the industry standard nowadays, low E squared, and uh, it, it does a great job. It takes that number from 226 down to 34. about 34, 35. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's really cutting a lot, but if you put your hand, you can still feel a little bit of heat coming through that. I can. What we have to offer at the Shield Family Brands is what we call Zoe Shield Glass. Now this is Zoe Shield 5, and it's a complete system. What we do is rather than using an aluminum spacer or a stainless steel spacer, which most of the people in the industry use, we actually insulate the glass ourselves using a true warm edge non-metallic spacer. Very flexible, flexible, very. it's, it's going to be warmer than what uh, aluminum is going to be. Uh, also, what's going to happen with that, you're going to get less uh, cold transfer from the outside to the inside, sure. which means less condensation on the inside of your windows. That's part of the package. We also do the fill with argon gas. We have multiple uh, low-E coating layers versus two on this unit. There's multiple coatings. Plus, the exterior is an easy clean exterior. It's a glass-on-glass -glass technology. So what happens is when rain and water hit it, they actually sheets down, cleans the glass itself much easier. Easier to clean, uh, easier to maintain. Okay. So let's look and see what happens to that number when you put that in front. We took it down to number four from yeah. 225 So you've just about blocked any heat transfer yeah. through that piece of glass, which is what you want glass to do. If we take a step up from that, Zoe 6, same type of glass as Zoe Shields by its same makeup, the, the warm edge spacer, the multiple coat low E, the easy clean glass exterior. What's nice about this is it has a laminated layer on the outside piece of glass. Right, let's look at this. It looks like there's a double layer of glass on that side. Now as far as energy savings, it's not gonna do it that way, but there's other points to it. It's gonna be much safer because you can't break through this glass. So if you've got expensive things in your house, you don't want people to get in, this is the type of glass that they won't be able to break through. It's, it's basically the same as windshield glass. Uh -huh. Also for sound transmits, if you live near a railroad, or by the highway or by the airport, this will muffle that sound so it'll make it much quieter inside your home. Now if we look at it, it's gonna rate about the same as the, as the Zoe 5 glass. 
Mm -hmm. But the other the other benefits is where you what you get into that. Okay. Now you had another demonstration too that you wanted to show me. Yeah, we can uh, talk about. We got a meter here that actually shows ultraviolet uh, rays. We don't want ultraviolet rays in our house because, of course, that's going to hurt our furniture. It's going to fade our our floorings, our expensive uh, wall hangings. Right. Also, it's bad for the skin. You know, you stay out too long in the sun. So you want to try and muffle those or, or darken those uh, UV ratings. Starts out at 100%. If I look at a piece of clear glass, which is your 1970s technology, I put that in there. It knocks out uh, about 50% of it. So right. you're still letting quite a bit of the harmful UV rays into your home. Now, when they developed low E squared glass, the, the low E coatings actually helped with the UV ratings also. So what that piece of, of low E squared does, knocks out about 85%. So now we're down to 15%. Mm -hmm. Then they came up with a tinted glass. Now you get a lot less visibility. You can't see through it as well, but that helps to keep the, the sunlight out also. What that does on this piece gets it down to about 10%. So we're improving every time. Mm -hmm. If you look at that compared to our Zoe Shield glass, you can see there's a lot much more clarity right. in Zoe Shield. But what we're looking at is a really advanced technology here, the Zoe 5 glass, that with the multi-coat uh, low E coating in there, watch what happens to that number now. It's down to 4%. We've knocked out 96% of those harmful UV rays. And just to take it one step further, this laminated glass on the exterior, mm -hmm. that laminate actually does even a better job. It zeroes that meter out. We've actually blocked out 99.8% of those harmful UV rays. That's great. This is really impressive stuff. Now for people that are considering putting new windows in their home, uh -huh. there are monetary incentives for people, right? Yeah, there's a tax rebate that's going on from the government that if you replace your existing windows with uh, any window where that has Zoe 5 glass in it is going to meet the new tax stimulus ratings. So what they can do is uh, the cost of their windows, they get 30% of that cost as a rebate, up to a $1,500 rebate. That's significant. Mm -hmm. Good incentive, too. And they can go on our website, www.weathershield.com, and there's a dollar sign right on it. They can click on that dollar sign. It'll take them right to explain exactly how they can go for that rebate. Great. Thank you so much, Scott. Yeah, this is great you. information. You stay with us. We have more powerhouse coming up from the B4 Conference. Lion Energy.